Welcome to Design Talks Now, the virtual version of Design Talks hosted by Design Pavilion. I'm Eileen Shaw, producer of Design Pavilion, New York's public design exhibition held annually in the public plazas of Times Square with the mission to increase awareness of design thinking, the process, and projects. Now we're very pleased to present Alex Brownless, the co-founder of ArtsThread, the world's leading digital platform for emerging designers and artists and a launch pad for the next generation of creative talent. Over the last 10 years, ArtsThread has helped thousands of new creatives launch their new brands and gain employment worldwide, having built relationships with more than 800 creative institutions, giving access to well over 300,000 students in approximately 120 countries. ArtsThread has partnered with many brands such as Levi's and Avery Dennison, BBC, Made.com, Nike, NASDAQ, United Nations, WGSN, Urban Outfitters, Milan Design Week, Premier Vision, London Design Festival, Majes, Azimut Yachts, Design Pavilion, and many more to help launch the next generation of creative talent globally. I'm really happy to welcome Alex. And Alex, how are you doing during this time on a personal, on a personal level? Yeah, I'm, I'm coping. The family are coping. We're, um, we're in lockdown here in London. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get as much fresh air as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, no, everything's, everything's okay. We, we had some bad news recently where uh, our chairman um, passed away um, four weeks ago um, due to the COVID. That was a, was a hell of a blow because he was, um, he was a mentor. But I know that he, um, he'd be fully behind what we're up to now. And, um, you know, I was talking to him even from hospital. And, um, you know, he had a great innings. You know, he had, you know, nearly 82 years on the planet. And um, as he said, you know, keep up as much mischief as possible. So um, I'm going to, you know, take on board what he's you know, taught me and um, give it my best shot. You know? Yeah, we are going to miss Terry so very, very much. He was important to arts grid and to you personally and to the first organization as well yeah yeah he was longest standing um over 50 years so um yeah it's a good stint in in this day and age you know yeah. someone lasting within a company over 50 years is uh, is going some yeah yeah an amazing person so i just gave a, a very brief little intro about arts thread tell tell us a little bit more about um how and when you and Katie Downey uh, co-founded it and why, what purpose does it serve? Uh, yeah, well, we created it, um, and I, I can't claim um, a lot of that. Katie created the magazine Arts Thread just over 12 years ago. And at that time, I was actually working for an American recruitment firm um, that was you know, really big. And I bumped into her, having worked with her previously at a company called WGSN in the late 90s, you know, we, we had a good relationship and um, she was walking around this trade show with this magazine under arm called Arts Thread. And I'm quite nosy. And I, I, I just said, hey, what, what's that under your arm? And um, she said, oh, it's a magazine that's solely focused on students and, and students work. So that not just be in uh, textiles and product design, but, you know, craft, and fashion, you name it. I thought I was really clever. And I left it as that to be honest with you, you know, it, you know, and then suddenly um, we collided again a couple of weeks later at another uh, end of year show students because I was on the lookout for talent because that's what I was doing and, and doing that regularly. This time I asked her, you know, um, this magazine you've created, has anyone has ever done this before? And the answer was uh, not to my knowledge. And I thought, well, that's interesting. I said, um, why don't you make it a website? And um, she said, yeah, it'd be good to create a website a digital platform, but um, it's quite costly, right? And that was, yeah, that was 12 years ago. And I said, tell you what, I'll, I'll be interested in getting involved if you want me to. And um, that was the start. You know, we, we launched the website, you know, officially, yeah, just over 10 years ago. And um, we now go 820 uh, universities, design schools, art schools uh, worldwide on there and 80 odd thousand uh, portfolios. Uh, but we're, we're engaging with so many students worldwide and just giving them a break. You know, that, that's, you know, that the motivation was, you know, really, 
you know, putting ourselves in the shoes of what the students and what, because we were students back in the day. And, you know, all we did was create something that we needed. And uh, that's the beauty of the web, I suppose. You know, you know as, as, as Terry used to say, you know, creativity has no postcode or zip code. So many really talented individuals around the planet from, you know, Guatemala to Reykjavik. You know, it really doesn't matter, you know? Yes, absolutely. So, so ArtsThread, uh, the platform is on the web. And students and um, emerging designers, new graduates, post their portfolios on your website. And then also you facilitate competitions, design competitions with corporations through that audience of, of students and, and emerging designers. Tell us how that works. Well, yeah, we soon realized uh, when we created the platform that it's all very well and good being a, a portfolio site where the industry can come and find what they're looking for, whether you know, it's furniture design or ceramics, uh, wherever it may be on the planet. But we thought we, we need to be a bit more, we need to do something a little bit more proactive, yeah. So to align and, and try and engage more with the industry, um, we approached the trade shows and events and, and obviously the industry. And, and we, we got a bit of a break. Um, the, 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 the French really backed us quite early on. And we, we had an amazing um, start where we aligned with Maison Objet and Equipe Hotel, which is a um, sister of that, and then Premier Vision. Uh, the big textile trade show and by engaging uh, with these trade shows and then unleashing emerging talent in, in, in the, in the trade fairs in Paris, it was, um, it was a hell of a coup because, you know, we had students from all around the planet who wanted to be showcased in, you know, the home interior section or the, you know, the textile fabric section, the snowball effect occurred. We then realized that, wait a minute, why don't we align with Milan Design Week and London Design Festival and NYC Times Design? And that's obviously how we, how we met. You know, when you create a design pavilion, um, you, you very kindly introduced, um, you know, us to what you were doing in Times Square. And that was the start of a marvelous relationship, right? And yeah, yeah I mean, that, you know, you make things happen. I think the thing that's, you know, really lovely is that, you know, when you've got a community that is really diverse and, you know, they're all under the age of 25 and they, they need a break, you know, whether they're in, you know, Halifax, Nova Scotia or Halifax, West Yorkshire in England, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't really matter. You know, they, yeah. they all, they need, um, they're, they're all rough diamonds and they, they need polishing up a bit. And, and if we can help them succeed in any way. That's, the, that, that's our motivation, really. I mean, that, that's what's important. And yeah, and, and competitions is obviously a key factor of that. We, we had to do competitions. It just made sense. Yeah. Well, our, our experience with you goes back years now. We were participants in your competitions with Azimut Yacht in Italy, with Avery Dennison, with NASDAQ right there in Times Square, with Magis and Herman right. Miller. And what we learned um, and what our experience in working with Art Thread is um, that the process is super easy. You guys make it very easy for all of us. You host the competition and you promote it. You gather the submissions in a very organized way and all digitally. So the jury, whether it's from the corporations or from the trade shows, can just go online, review the portfolios, and decide which are the winners. And it's a very smooth process. You're quick about it, and the results are amazing. And for the, for the students and for the emerging young designers and artists that participate, because it's, it's also art uh, as well as design. It's product yeah. as well as painting and illustration and graphic design. And the results are phenomenal. So I think that every partner that we participated with was very pleased, and, and we certainly were. And then we had some great artwork to show. And then the students come and see it, and they're part of this professional, you know, professional presentation. And it's win-win for everybody. So thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Tell me, in this current crisis, how has it affected design schools? We've been talking with RISD and Pratt and SVA. 
through your communications with them, you have, you're dealing with 120 countries and 800 schools. What are you seeing? How are they being affected right now by this crisis that we're facing? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely tough. Um, I mean, that, that's, that's without question. You know, we've been talking to, you know, Pearl Academy in Delhi and um, Hong Kong Design Institute and the, the Royal College of Art here and I've just been off the phone with um, a friend of mine who heads up fashion at Parsons New School. And well, it's unprecedented, really. I mean, that, that's, the, that's the unfortunate thing is that we've never been here before um, in all these years. So it's a transformation. Um, I think the positive thing, though, and I, I think it's important to say that there has to be uh, positive elements that are coming from this. You know, that here we are talking and communicating and I'm living on Zoom and I'm living on Skype. And, you know, the, the good thing is, is that the younger generation, the 20-somethings, the Gen Zers, um, it's not as disastrous, one could say, for them because they embrace technology. The, the thing which is um, just, you know, unfortunate and doubtly unfortunate for them is the fact that they haven't got access to the studio or, or, or the workshops. And no. um, the sad thing is that not, not, not everyone has, has, has cancelled just yet the end of year shows, but, you know, it's a bit dangerous having a show at the minute in certain parts of the planet. So, you know, what's handy about us is that we are a free platform and, so we've, we're having all sorts of mad conversations with universities and design schools and art schools. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, the, the, the great thing from an arts perspective is that we're embracing that and we're helping them and we're showcasing obviously the talent, which we've been doing for the last 10 years. So there's nothing new there, but um, the universities probably are engaging more than they were. So from, from our perspective, it's great. Um, I do feel, I really do feel their pain. It's, it's tough, but I think we're a really good plan B and obviously we've, we've launched something very recently, which is a very proactive way of embracing um, all of these really talented young people and, and giving them a vehicle to, to succeed. So, you know, the, the, the universities have been, you know, publicizing and, and promoting and marketing their programs and courses on our site anyway, but also the students, you know, they've been historically uploading their portfolios and their, their projects for the last 10 years. And, you know, tonight I've got a, another conversation with, with Massar up in Boston. And, you know, here I am in North London. And, it, you know, it, geography doesn't come into it. You know, if you've, got a, if you've got a broadband connection, you can communicate. And what we're trying to do with um, this, this new relationship that we've just built very recently with um, ID, uh, Vice Media and launching this global initiative, um, a, a, an online global design graduate show for, for this year. And it looks like we're going to be, you know, this is just the start. We're hopefully going to be the glue, you know, that will bring industry to education and education to industry. And now, especially, I think, I think we'll, we've got something quite handy, um, which, which will enable a lot of the the students due to graduate this year to get a break in the industry. And, um, you know, obviously with COVID-19 kicking in, you know, a few months ago um, and, and talking to many universities and, and, and schools, you know, not just me, but the rest of the team at Arts Thread, we've, you know, we, we soon realized that we, we really should do something even more proactive than just be a platform where the students have their, their, you know, their portfolios on and, and the universities, you know, have their programs and courses on there. So, you know, kids at high school can get a feel on what's going on at RISD and what's going on at SVA and all these other mm -hmm. institutions around the planet. We, we made a decision to do a, an online global design graduate show. And um, it's quite powerful because no one's ever done it, right? So we thought, well, wouldn't it be really powerful to create one element you know a, a celebration of 2020s talent um you know let the artists and the designers upload their work give them a, a window between may and the end of july to upload their end of year projects and then bring the bring the industry to them and, and judge and give out winning prizes and yeah i mean we've had some uh, unbelievable conversations with the industry and it's all happened very quickly and it's really sweet that you've um, agreed to, you know, um, help us promote this because the students need to know about it. 
not just in the States, but worldwide. You know, we've, we've got some amazing things happening. You know, we've had Indians and we've had, um, you know, students from Guatemala and uh, Puerto Rico and, and, and Helsinki, you know, um, contact and, and start uploading their work already. And, and in fairness, they've got till the end of July. There's, there's, no, there's no major rush, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, when they've done that and when, when it ends on July 31st, and we will then unleash um, the talent uh, in a curated way um, on a, a, a subsection of our own platform. We're looking into creating a new website called globaldesigngraduateshow.com. We've got that in place. And um, you know, with the help of ID Vice Media, they're, they're going to bring um, not just the industry, but the readers of ID to, to the party. So it's incredibly exciting, but we had to do it. Someone had to do something about this, you know? Yeah. Well, to have, have that um, extraordinary talent on, in that massive way, all in one place is, is thrilling and exciting and mind-blowing, really, to, to see it all in one place at one time. Tell us a little bit about ID and Vice. What role will they play? So ID is a magazine that I've always um, looked upon in very high regard. It started off as a punk magazine, actually, 30 years ago, right? Which I, I remember because I was, I was 20 when, when it came out. It was independent. It, you know, it was very fresh. And it was um, showcasing talent and music and embracing the whole lifestyle. And it was very much aimed at the demographic, you know, the under 30s. Right. And, you know, we've, been, we've had conversations with um, different media organizations before we decided to go down this road. And we felt that with ID, the fact that they are um, orientated towards the, the generation which we're very focused on, which is really the under 25s and creatives at that, they were the perfect partner. And I think with Vice Media's input, the fact that Vice Media um, acquired ID a few years ago, um, and then given the, the go ahead and their full backing on this, this global design graduate show is um, it's a real coup because we're talking multi millions. Um, and that's the thing that's really important because we need, we need the viewings. We need the students to, to be known about because mm -hmm. um, with no end of year shows or if there is end of year shows, you know, it's, it's going to be quite tough for them still to, to, to get that break. This is a really proactive angle, and I'd like to think you know we'll help thousands of these these students who you know will be graduating this year get a break, and that that's always been our focus. That's all arts red. That's the reason why we started back in the day. It was all about giving them a break. What break is this? How how does this help the students, and who who's going to see it? How do they contact the students if they? really love a project and want to support it or hire, hire the talent? Well, the nice thing to say, there is no barrier. Okay. So the platform that Artsred, you know, is, is a free platform. So it's accessible to everybody, you know, to the parents, to the kids, to the students, to the industry. So it, you know, to the education system, it, it, it's access all areas. There is no, uh, username, passwords, and all that kind of stuff. Where, where there is no barrier. Okay, so that's something I really should emphasize because some people think that oh, it's it's password protected. No, it's not. We want the industry to come to the platform, and and find new talent. Maybe even investment. Okay, we've had we've had furniture designers get investment on our platform. We've had uh, product designers get investment on our platform. But I have to tell you, the majority of the time, it, it's more hiring. So whether that's full time or internship, or, or, or freelance. When, when the industry find out that we exist, they rather like us because they don't have to pay any fees, okay? So that, that's good. Uh, if they need our help, then we charge. But that, you know, we do, that's how we make money. We, we charge the industry if they need our assistance because we've got, we've got to live. Um, you know, we can't live on fresh air. But the, the, there is no barrier. And that, that's the thing to emphasize is that if they want to be proactive and they're a small company and they can't afford a recruitment fee, Artsred's brilliant for those people because they can search for illustrators and uh, gamers and uh, industrial designers in different parts of the planet, whether in St. Petersburg or um, Ukraine or wherever. It doesn't matter. Right now, it really, internship can come from anywhere. 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. A, a, a London-based company could have an intern that's based out of, out of Mexico City. 100%. So it can, internship can come from anywhere now. So yeah. I, you this, actually, this COVID sped everything up even more. Exactly. And, and ArtsThread has grown into its own at a moment that um, is ready now. It's ready for what you have to to offer. It's fit, yeah, it is. It's fit for purpose. Um, yeah. You know, we've we've gone through the first few years was really tough. I'm not going to lie to you, but you know, the good thing is is that we've been um, self funded. You know, we weren't under any pressure to to deliver. You know, X, Y, and Z, um, which I know can affect a lot of businesses. We've grown organically. We we've the pace has been the correct pace for for us because. We've managed to develop in the right direction and, and evolve with the times. I mean, the time is perfect now. I mean, you know, where the student may be stuck in their bedroom, they now, through us, can be found because we're a portal. I mean, just uh, something I should mention, you know, that our CTO, John, you know, he was the uh, global CTO um, back in the day at Wonderman and Razorfish. And, you know, he, he's really helped our platform over the years and, you know, got involved in the early days when, honestly, you know, we, we, we couldn't afford to spend the monies that we needed to. But, you know, through his passion and um, want, just generally want to help. We've all come together. We've had, there was a lot of favours in the first few years because we could all relate with the students. You know, we knew it was it is tough to get a break. But if by coming together and working together and, and, and helping and, and giving the students the tools they need to succeed, which is now what we've we have in place, they can be found, you know, and, and, and it doesn't matter where they are. That's what's lovely. You know, it, yeah. it really could be in Botswana and mm -hmm. still be found if they're proactive. Yeah. Right. If they're there, but they can. Yeah. Be yeah. You know, otherwise, because we're not all psychic. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the, the amount of times that, you know, I have conversations with different universities. So, you know, we haven't got an end of year show, but some of the students have got their work on our, on our, on our platform and they well, you know, it's a bit like, I'll use the example. It's a bit like booking a holiday. I, I wouldn't be going to all these different independent hotel websites and all these different airlines. I'd go to one portal to find what I'm looking for. And mm -hmm. so like a one-stop shop. And that's what we've created. That was the, that's what was, and is probably the most important factor about what we do is that it's a one-stop shop. So if you're looking for a furniture designer in Stockholm or a illustrator in Brooklyn, the School of Visual Arts, or um, the Academy of Art in San Francisco. You can search like that as well. So it's, it's what was needed. Because when I was in recruitment, I found it really difficult to find new talent. It was really tough. You know, yeah. I had to fly all over the place, and, and it, it was actually quite painful. And, and what we've created is less painful. Yeah. I want to help, of course, and I would foresee um, a physical show one day when we all can gather again together, even a digital physical show. Um, I, I know how I can help, but for, for those who are listening, how can we help? The, the, there's many ways. Um, we had to be proactive and by creating something that is solely focused on the problem today, which is, you know, the students to have access to studios and workshops and we had to make it a, a, a digital version. And so um, that's the reason why we created this, this new area, which officially launches in October, but the, the uploading process for the students has begun and the deadline, as I said earlier, was July 31st. So, you know, the industry can come and find what they're looking for. And we're talking diverse. You know, we will have the subcontinent, we'll have the Far East, we'll have the North American, we'll have the European areas all catered for in all disciplines. The way um, our site was built architecturally, you can search by sector, by um, specialism, specialization, by college, by university. We're trying to make it as easy as possible for the industry to find what they're looking for. But at the same time, bringing judges in from um, the industry to, of which I hope that you will um, accept my invitation. I would like you to be one of our judges, just to let you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I amongst have to the, think about that. <laughs> all right, well, come back to me on that, okay? okay. Um, I'll just put it on you now, so, uh, you know, okay. just, you, you need to sleep on it. Um, but yeah, just, to. It would be an yeah. honor. 
honestly. No, fantastic, right? Well, that's you know, and this is what's great, right? We, you know, we've been talking to all sorts of companies from you know Nike to to Yeezy to um, Tom Dixon, you you name it. Um, as a when when people find out and the industry find out that we're being proactive and we're helping the students try and get a break, of course you're going to help, right? So my advice is, is the students must be proactive and, and, and be very selective in what they upload and, and ensure that they do themselves justice because they've got a, a big window. They've got 90 days to upload. So as I said, they've got till the end of July to upload. But that end of year project should tell their story. And we, we know that stu you know, some students will not have access to facilities that they're used to. So it's the thought process. And actually, to be quite frank, Eileen, the thought process and the um, story behind that sometimes is actually even more interesting than the final object they create. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, the, you know, the, 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 the thought, the, uh, the mood, the uh, inspiration, you know, the sketches, the, the, the renderings and the specs. And that, that is a major significance to the industry when they're looking to hire anyway. You know, it's... All we're doing is making the physical portfolio a digital portfolio. There's not a lot of difference. It's a different format, obviously, but, right. you know, it, it's, it's, it's another way. Um, and, you know, they can, they can talk. They can talk through their work. It doesn't have to be two-dimensional. You know, they could involve AR and VR if they want because, mm -hmm. you know, people can upload video and film on our site. You know, gamers yeah, can Because that's, that's digital. You know, that's it. You know, we, yes. it, you know, everything's there now. You know, it's, it's a darn sight better than what it was when we graduated. You know, we were stuck with yellow pages, right? Um, <laughs> you know, that, they've got, they've got, the, 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 the tools are there. It's not just a resume that's, that's online. It's them. They're projecting themselves and they're showing what they can do. That's really important you mentioned that because, um, you know, LinkedIn is fantastic. I mean, it's a fantastic site, but you know, I, I think what we're doing is because of the creatives that, you know, and that, that's our focus is, is the new creatives. It's their work, it, you know, their, their, their resume isn't going to be that significant when they're, you know, in their tender years, you know, they, they may have had a, a part-time job or have had a year in industry, but it's not going to be significant history. It's, it's, their, it's their work that's going to get the job. Um, and obviously their personality comes into play as well. So, yeah. you know, if they can be the, the whole package and I, I'll give you a, a nice example. We, we, we've had students get a break in the industry while they're sleeping. Okay. Now, how the hell does that happen? Well, you know, because the student was that proactive, you know, they uploaded, you know, their projects and they also recorded their, their, themselves talking about their work. And I'm not saying everyone would want to do that, but it, it's a very powerful thing when you can it's actually nice talk time. about. Yeah. It's and nice. that's, that's, and, and I, I can only say that Phillips in Hong Kong hired a student from um, I, I, someone in Scandinavia. And my understanding is that they'd already made their mind up on this person when they probably woke up the next morning. Now that, that is powerful, yeah? yeah. And, and, and this is the beauty of what we have. And, you know, digital has been around a long, long time. And the young people, the, the, the students, the 20-somethings, the they get this. They get this more. But let me tell you, that the, the people I know in the industry who are visionary, they, they embrace this, you know, because it's, you know, one, they put the, 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 the child to bed at nine o'clock on a Sunday night, they can go click, 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 and think, wow, she's fantastic, and she's on my doorstep in, in West Hollywood, and I'm in Burbank, and maybe she can start working at Pixar on Monday at nine o'clock. That is what we have, right? And, yes, yes. And, and just because we're, I'm in North London, you know, the, the, web is, the web is your oyster, okay? Mm -hmm. Just like your world is. Yeah. So I, I would like um, the students, I, I know that right now they're so worried about what their future holds and they're so worried they're coming out of school and of course they were hoping they would get jobs immediately. And it's a frightening, confusing, worrisome time. I also would like them to know that in some way, nature and the universe and 
the world and government just kind of clearing things for them. And they should not be so worried. They should stand strong and just wait it out a bit because we all, none of us know where things are going to land and where we're all going to be. We're as confused and trying to figure it out and worried and fearful as they are. But at the same time, there's enormous hope out there. And there are new opportunities that are developing because of what we're going through right now and because of what we're seeing. So I want them to stay hopeful and just be patient and think. They have to think this through and they have to be smart. They must observe where opportunities might be developing, what product areas, what industry areas, what specialty areas, and hop to be there. And as you said, be proactive. Would you like to close on any specific note with any specific message to all of us? Yeah, I, I think um, we, we, we're calling it, um, you know, this whole experience. Um, the, 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 the title, you know, the ID, um, and, and art sort of, you know, come to is, is faith in chaos. Um, mm. And, and it, it, it's a chaotic time that there is no doubt, right? But, you know, chaos isn't such a negative word, right? I, I, I think it depends upon your mindset, okay? And, you know, um, it's where you're heading. I always say, don't, you know, there's no point in looking back, right? It's not, it's not where you've been. It's where, it's where you're heading, okay? Yes. And, and so... I think uh, a positive mindset is a massively important factor here and um, embracing the tools that are available that are not very expensive, like what we've got at ArtsThread, that's pretty handy, but then you've got Instagram and you've got um, other entities out there that you can embrace to project yourself. There's loads of opportunity. And, and if I was 22, I'd probably be quite happy, right? Um, because I, I, you know, I wouldn't, the, 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 the older generation, uh, you know, are normally looking to command higher salaries because of the experience that they have. Um, the younger generation have got new ideas, new concepts, um, that they're, they've got a lot to offer. So yeah. they should embrace that and, and actually, uh, take that and use that to their advantage because it is an advantage. I mean, that there is no doubt. So I think it is, it's, it's, it's having faith in this chaotic time and maximizing? Because I think there's a real opportunity for the 20-somethings. Before we close, how do they find you? Where do they find you? Your website, your... Yeah, absolutely. Um, artsthread.com. If they come to artsthread.com, they can register, they can upload their projects, their profile, their portfolios. You know, we have a, a new event, a new competition every two weeks. Um, you know, we, we cater for everybody. We cater to industrial designers, to fashion designers, to fine artists. The, the great thing about what we're doing is that the majority of the people in the industry, they, they embrace what we do because, yeah, they, they were there. They, back in the day when they, you know, when they finished school and finished university, they, they needed a break, okay? So we offer that. And, and, and so we're quite a handy tool for them. But I have to sincerely say, if the students don't embrace things like what we have, you know, there's no point in just sitting and, you know, waiting for the phone to ring because it probably won't. You know, we, you've got to be proactive. You've got to embrace the tools that are in place to, for you to be successful because they're the ones that will get the break the quickest. It's the early bird that catches the worm. So students and emerging designers, take advantage of ArtsThread and the Global Design Graduate Show. I can't wait to see um, how that develops. Thank you, Alex, so very, very much. ArtsThread's work is very important and uh, giving opportunity and a slice of the real world to young emerging talent worldwide. Thank you for doing what you do. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Design Talks Now are available on the Design Pavilion website, along with more information on other topics and presenters to come. So please visit us there. And for now, 
find faith in the chaos, stay safe, stay smart, and remember design stands together. Thank you.